most opera managers uh, and artistic leaders and conductors know other opera managers, opera leaders and, and mm -hmm. conductors, and most theater people know other theater leaders and, and uh, directors and such. I think we tend to just have those two circles never connect. I think it, it's truly just that, that question, even though in our case the two organizations are across the street from each other. Yes. Uh, that nonetheless that one street can feel uh, much bigger. So when Keith approached me a year ago about this, uh, the specifics of this collaboration, the idea of a contemporary chamber opera happening in the Wiley with our two organizations working together, and specifically with me as the director, the first time I'll be directing an opera, it seemed like a perfect opportunity to kind of celebrate those shared values and make something greater than we could make on our own. It really is a gift that the theater is across the street. <laughs> uh, proximity is really important because mm -hmm. part of what people do when they come to the Arts District is they put us in one location and put some of our sister organizations at nearby. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we're across the street rather than half a mile away will really make a difference. It'll allow people to feel like even though they're in a different theater, they're still in the, the Arts District and they're still close to the Wings Isn't that exactly what the Arts District is about? We should all be doing opera at the Wiley, and Wiley should be playing the rear, you know, it's the, the exchange of ideas. You know, I mean, I think that, that right now, most of the marketing for this is sort of targeted at our current patron base, mm -hmm. so that we can start really building interest in it. But what we really wanted to do was also be able to, because of the collaboration with the Theater Center and, and having Kevin direct this, there was a huge opportunity for people who were really interested in theater to become in, involved. This is a co-production with Dallas Theater Center. And so we're each grabbing bits of this to do. Uh, the Dallas Opera, using Dallas State Scenery is building the lighthouse itself and, and all that stuff. We're putting it in the Wiley, which is the home for the Dallas Theater Center. They are doing the lake and the water. They are doing the props, like if we go furniture, chairs, because it's being rehearsed in their rehearsal rooms. And therefore, when the director needs a prop, needs a chair, needs some stuff, they have their own stock, they can deal with it out of there. So we're not running around like crazy people. Uh, so it is a co-production. We're not in competition, and in fact, the, the more people that we can collectively draw down to the Arts District, the better we're all going to do. Sure. And so this is just another example of how to make that happen. And this kind of work really attracts people's attention because it is different from the, the mainstream core repertoire that we present on the stage here in the Winspear. The idea of collaboration appeals. Kevin has such a wonderful reputation here in the mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. People really are curious to see what his next big project is. Yes. And all of these things feed on one another. It's important for all of us to keep finding ways to connect with each other and build collaborative opportunities because otherwise things we have in common will never bring us together.